Limited coronavirus lockdown center allows more activities to take place in green zones. Media is the conscience of the society and hence its role crucial, says Assam Chief Minister. Assam makes special arrangement for state-bound passengers. Prime Minister Modi discusses COVID-19 issue with Thailand Prime Minister. And Meghalaya and Manipur to carry out movement of people stranded in phased manner. Good evening and welcome to the Northeast News. This is Jushna Bulwa with the news in detail. The third edition of the nationwide lockdown, which was announced on Friday last by Centre, is different from the previous ones in character. More activities are allowed in the new lockdown guidelines. The notification issued by the Union Home Ministry talks about dividing the areas into three zones, the red hotspot, orange low risk and green zones, no active cases. This is based on the risk profiling of the districts of the country. The green zones are the districts with either zero confirmed cases till date or no confirmed case in the last 21 days. The new lockdown guidelines permit various activities in green zones. All activities are permitted in green zones except those prohibited throughout the country irrespective of the zonal division. Buses can operate with up to 50% seating capacity and bus depots can operate with up to 50% capacity. All goods traffic is permitted in green zone. No state union territory shall stop the movement of cargo for cross-land border trade under treaties with neighboring countries. No separate pass of any sort is needed for such movement, which is essential for maintaining the supply chain of goods and services across the country during the lockdown period. These restrictions are based on the central government's directives. Air and train travel, interstate bus transport, metro and local trains and interstate movement of people is prohibited across the country except for medical and security purposes. All educational institutions, hotels, movie theatres, malls, gyms, swimming pools, bars will remain shut. Religious and social gatherings are banned. Union Minister of Information and Broadcasting Prakash Javdekar said that in the third phase of the lockdown, practically half of the country will become fully operational from May 4th. Javdekar said the lockdown has brought us success and the country has fared much better than other countries in this response to contain the corona pandemic. Javdekar said opposition is only indulging in blame game and have no agenda or issues to discuss. He said they are blaming the government on the points on which they showed agreement. खुल गई है सभी उद्योग और खासकर उद्योग ग्रामीण क्षेत्रों में ही होते हैं एकदम शहरों के बीचे बीच फैक्ट्रीज नहीं होती है तो वो आसपास होती है वो सारी Assam Chief Minister Harbanand Honwal today held an interactive session with the editors and senior journalists of media houses of the state at Assam Administrative Staff College and sought their views and suggestions regarding the overall situation of the state. During the COVID-19 lockdown period and the way forward in case of relaxations and exemptions during the nationwide extension of lockdown period by two more weeks. Calling on the media outlets to exercise utmost restraint while reporting news about administrative machinery engaged in the COVID-19 fight at the front line without verification, the Chief Minister said that unauthenticated and unverified news could demotivate and discourage all those who were dedicatedly providing the services to contain the outbreak of the global pandemic in the state. Assam Health and Family Welfare Minister Himanta Bishra Sharma today said that all the northeastern states' borders except Sikkim will be open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. for homebound passengers. Addressing a press meet to brief the current situation in the state in the wake of coronavirus outbreak, Sharma said that Assam-bound passengers have no need to take any pass permission from any authority. Sharma said that those who are stranded outside of Assam can give miss call on 74281-59966 and those who want to come by their own vehicles can apply to get passes on Assam Transport Relief at the rate of gmail.com from today. 
The minister added that those who will come through Sri Rampur and Boxirhat, they will get passed to the five quarantine centers at Kokrachar, Khoruhajai, Tespur, Jurhat and Silchar. Special trains have started ferrying people who are stranded in different parts of the country due to coronavirus outbreak. These include migrant workers, students and others. Railways has announced that it will run Shramik special trains to bring back home people stranded in different parts of the country due to lockdown. The passengers have to be screened by the sending states and only those found asymptomatic would be allowed to travel. Sending state governments will have to bring these persons in batches that can be accommodated in the train to the designated railway stations in sanitized buses. It will be mandatory for every passenger to wear, wear face cover. Assam Health and Family Welfare Minister Himanta Bishra Sharma today said while addressing a press conference that the state has achieved good progress in containing the COVID-19 situation. He said that out of 42 COVID-19 positive patients in the state, 29 have already been discharged from the hospital. The recovery rate in the state is 76.19%. He added that in six labs in the state, 10,987 tests for COVID-19 were carried out. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today discussed issues related to COVID-19 pandemic with Prime Minister of Thailand, Prayut chan -o -cha. In a tweet, Modi said, as neighbours with deep-rooted historical and cultural links, India and Thailand will work together to deal with multifarious challenges posed by this present crisis. The novel coronavirus has infected over 34 lakh people, while the global death toll is over 239,000. United States has registered highest number of COVID-19 deaths and also has the highest number of confirmed infections. In Europe, Italy, Spain and United Kingdom are the first three most coronavirus infected countries. Meanwhile, top medical research institutions across the globe have concentrated on developing vaccine to contain the deadly virus. A total of 37,671 COVID-19 cases have been reported in the country so far. As per Health Ministry, 10,018 patients have recovered after treatment and discharge from the hospitals, while 1,223 patients have died. Assam, Telangana, Chhattisgarh and Himachal Pradesh have doubling rate of about 40 days. The fatality rate is 3.2 percent and comorbidities were found in COVID-19 patients in 95 percent of the deaths. The Meghalaya government is looking to facilitate the movement of those stranded due to the lockdown in a phased manner. Talking to reporters on Friday, Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma said that the government is planning to carry out this exercise in two phases, starting with people from the northeastern region, since the risk is lesser this way. Sangma also informed that the government is exploring the option of bringing back those stranded outside the state in special trains and flights in a phased manner. Manipur Health and Family Welfare Minister L. Jayanth Kumar has informed media persons that the government is taking up steps to bring back Manipuri stranded in different parts of the country and as a first step, the government has sent four buses to Assam to bring 84 people stranded at Manipur Bhavan, Assam. The passengers will be strictly screened and examined at Mao Gate, after which they will be sent to quarantine centres in Imphal for further examination, he said. He also said that after their stay at this quarantine centre, they will be put under home quarantine or institutional quarantine for 14 days, depending on health experts. Further, the minister stated that the government is also seeking the help of Ministry of Civil Aviation and Ministry of Home to give permission for chartered flights to bring back Manipuri stranded in different parts of the country. The coronavirus pandemic has brought chaos to lives and economies around the world, but efforts to curb the spread of the virus might mean that the planet itself is moving a little less. As the transport networks and other human activities being shut down, the world of flora and fauna get a new way, new lease of life. The coronavirus lockdown allowed nature to breathe 
clear skies, clean air. Manas National Park in Assam, where most exotic wildlife living in harmony get a new lease of life during the coronavirus lockdown period. It is a favorite destination of wildlife and nature lovers. The National Park has been witnessing a spurt of tourist flows in recent times, but the ongoing lockdown situation has fully halted the tourism activities in Manas National Park. This national park is the only place to be distincted as Biosphere Reserve, a natural heritage site, Project Tri Tiger Reserve and Project Elephant Reserve all at the same time. With no human disturbances in this wildlife habitat areas, this promises to be a spring and possibly a summer of love for the animal kingdom. Animals are spotted everywhere in the park areas during this lockdown period. The flora inside the Manus, Manus National Park also gets a new lease of life, which adds to the rejuvenation of entirety of Manus National Park. To end the news, the main points once again. In extended coronavirus lockdown, center allows more activities to take place in green zones. Media is the conscience of the society and hence its role crucial, says Assam Chief Minister. Assam makes special arrangements for state-bound passengers. Prime Minister Modi discusses COVID-19 issue with silent Prime Minister. And Meghalaya and Manipur to carry out movement of people stranded in phased manner. And that's all in this bulletin. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.